Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to create a dance registration form. So what you see here is a very simple kind of dance uh, form. It's a dra drag and drop. So you can add images and logos. So make it really on brand. Uh, and we integrate with Canva. So you can bring all your designs from Canva. It opens up your Canva account. You can kind of save your designs to, to keep everything on brand. Now, what we're trying to do here is kind of reproduce your uh, paper form into a form that's simple to fill out online and gives you all the extra advantages as such as payments, registration list, uh, etc. So here I have a class. How do I modify the class? I click on edit, then I go to modify. I would have the name of the class, the price, is there a maximum attendance possibly, uh, taxes, ledger code, all that information. What's the location? So you would just simply select a location. Let's say it's at KD Studio here. And then what's the schedule? In this example, it's Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Uh, but you could say actually, you know, the class is at 11 a.m. And actually it's on, you know, Sundays, um, just like that. So you can make really easily, mo easy, easy modifications to the schedule. From there, you know, you have all these different options of creating, you know, installments, parada, promo codes, wait lists, different participants, gender, date of birth, whatever information you need to collect, and then extra options on the, on the registration process. So this would be kind of the participant. And then obviously you would have the account owner, the other parent, and maybe you want to add emergency contacts as they're building out the form. Um, and then you have the digital waiver. So we're going to also have people sign the waiver uh, as they're registering for the, for, the, for the dance class. You can then take payments by bank transfers, credit cards, or offline if you wish. Now, what does this look like for the client? Uh, if we click on visitor fill, I'm actually kind of like a client right now. So I'm just going to clear here. Um, and I would say, okay, I want to register here. And then I would be able to kind of put in information as I go through this and register um, for the, on the form, it's going to pick up the account owner here. You're going to create the other parents who's the emergency contact. So I'm going quickly here, but parents would go through it and they can add more people. And then they would read, you know, the different conditions and sign off on it. Now they click on continue and then there they'll be able to confirm and pay later. Or, you know, if they're, if you toggled on the credit card, they'll be able to put in their credit card to pay you. So I'm just going to click here and the e invoice and confirmation email has been sent to the parent who just registered. <clears throat> now what, what that does is it also creates an attendance list. So you can see this class here. If I go to my attendance list, I'm going to be able to track, you know, the people who are in this class, what are the medical informations, check them in, check them out for every single class in that session. <clears throat> but Activity Messenger does more than just kind of collect dance class registrations. The other thing you can do is you can create a reminder. So again, it's gonna be fully branded. You're gonna put your images and then we are gonna have all these different placeholders, right? With the participants first name, the name of the activity. This case would be dance class for six to nine year olds. What's the start date, end date and start time. And then I can kind of create this template email either send it by email, SMS and email or SMS only. And from there, automate it to go out four days before the start of the class. So we're gonna pick the first date of that class. We're gonna automate that and send it to everybody who's registered in that class. So this is a really quick glimpse at what Activity Messenger can do to simplify your dance registration forms, but also all the communication that goes around running a dance class. So if you'd like more information, visit activitymessenger.com.